In today's video, we're gonna cover something that's actually very important when it comes to vapor honing, and that is your media density. How to check it, and what exactly this cup is for. Wait, no, not this cup, this cup. Let's get into it. So if you guys are familiar with vapor honing, you know that there is a slurry involved. And this slurry is a mixture of abrasive and water. The water inside your vapor honing cabinet is actually what provides a lot of the benefits that are associated with wet blasting. And that is the low impact, the reduced heat, and reduced dust. But there is kind of a concern whenever it comes to making sure you have the appropriate amount of water and media inside your cabinet. And the best way to check that is with your media density cup. Now with your media density cup, it doesn't matter what abrasive you're using inside of your machine. It just depends on how much you have in there, how much it's gonna show up on the gauge. But before I explain that really quick, it's good to understand why it's so important to keep that density level at where it should be. The main reason is if you have too much media in your machine, it can actually reverse the characteristics of vapor blasting meaning that you're gonna roughen up the surface more. You might start damaging some of those components that you typically wouldn't damage with vapor blasting. And if you have too little abrasive in your machine, you're not gonna get any of those results. So it's gonna take a long time to clean parts versus how it should perform. And it's also not gonna give you that bright finish if you're using something like a glass bead. So let's get into how to actually check the abrasive density in your machine. This little cup right here actually ships with your machine and it can be found inside the cabinet whenever it delivers to your door. Um, if you guys have misplaced it or thrown it away or didn't know what it was for, we can actually send you a new one. Because like I said, it's very important to have one of these things and to just kind of routinely check your abrasive density. Now, the easiest way to do this is kind of put your hand in the machine, make certain that you have no pressure on it. So turn the, the gauge down at the top. We should have B-roll playing right now so you guys can see exactly what's happening. But turn the gauge down on your machine or just completely disconnect it from the air make sure that's all bled off by stepping on the foot pedal first and then it's going to allow the machine to actually agitate and pump that slurry up through the blast gun now you're going to want to hold the blast gun over the cup and just let it let's let it flow for a few seconds until it completely fills the cup and it's kind of spewing back out then you can let off and take that cup out of the machine just set it somewhere allow it to sediment, and then check your uh, actual reading on the cup. Now, after it settles, you're gonna be able to see how much abrasive is actually in your slurry, and you're gonna want it to be about 20%. So it's 80% water, 20% media. This is gonna be the perfect ratio for all things vapor blasting. Another benefit of actually checking your media density is to make certain that your pump is agitating as it should be. So let's say you guys have a weakened warrior and you've just done an abrasive swap. You've got that fresh glass bead in and you wanna make sure that the density is correct. If for some reason your pump isn't agitating like it should be, the media density check is gonna catch that because you're not gonna get the correct amount of abrasive to the actual blast gun. This check right here is a great way to make sure you're gonna be getting consistent results and that your machine is functioning as it should be. Now, what I mean by consistent results, you guys are blasting a lot of the same parts. Of course, you wanna keep the finishes as similar as possible. And the abrasive density check is a great way to do that. It's gonna make certain that the same amount of slurry is interacting with the parts, meaning that you're getting the same finish. If you're a large business and you wanna be doing these checks like as, as much as possible and as easy as possible, we actually offer an upgrade to some of our machines and that's an abrasive density meter. It mounts to the side of the machine. You're able to just simply pull the lever and then it will take the reading for you essentially. It's just a sight glass that you're able to visually inspect and just make sure you have the correct amount of abrasive running through your slurry lines. If you guys have any additional questions regarding the abrasive density meter or actually just abrasive density itself, please leave it in the comments below. You guys can also leave anything else wet blasting related that you want to see from us down there along with any other questions or video ideas. If you guys have specific questions and you're wondering if let's say the abrasive density meter will work with the machine you're looking at, you can reach us at 828-202-5563. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. And check out the other great content that we have on our YouTube channel and other socials because we post educational content, awesome before and after videos, anything you can want associated with wet blasting, it's on our channel. Make sure you guys check it out. Again, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and peace.